Hello, everybody. We are here again uh, with our channel. We're doing an uh, interview with special people, interesting projects, all related to the Bitcoin. And uh, we are focusing now on uh, Bitcoin circular economies. And today we have a very special guest from Ghana, right? Uh, yeah. Mavu Femor, and uh, he's a founder of uh, Bitcoin Dua project. So uh, we want to know everything about that. So Mavu Femor, thank you very much for being here. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks so much for reaching out to me and I'm glad to be here to speak to you on our project. Okay, so first of all, Tell me a little bit about uh, yourself, what you was doing before, and how did you get uh, into the Bitcoin world? Thank you. Uh, as I said, my name is Maupomo Kofi Folibi, founder of Bitcoin Dua. And uh, before then, I'm actually a social entrepreneur, and I was running an organization called uh, Talent and Foundation. In short, we call it Tahoof where in my community uh, I was looking at developing new uh, young talent in all fields. Uh, so I try to speak to varied people who are from the community and have made some impact in their own lives to begin to have conversation with young people and see how they can change the course of their own lives. And I started doing that as late as uh, 20 years back. Then after that, I began to uh, engage schools, authority uh, like the government to see how I can take that program into the various schools and begin to change mindset from school, basic schools to the senior high schools before the young people enter the world to begin to set uh, a good life for themselves. Mm -hmm. Out of that, I was able to like also come out with some social programs, which uh, we've been doing coding with students and young people to pick, for them to pick up a career on their own. And all this I do uh, with from my own pocket with no support. So um, I would say in twenty. Last 2020, 2022, when we had the first Bitcoin uh, Afghan conference, we had it and a friend uh, invited me over. I went and after the whole uh, conference, I realized there was something special about it. So I was also spotted. I spoke with uh, Herman Viva of Bitcoin Ekasi. Yeah, sure. I told him of what I knew and I said, I, I believe I could do something with Bitcoin as well. So he gave me uh, uh, he gave me some tasks to do when I get back to my community. I came, I did it, and I sent him video. Then he sent me some sats. I began to like move around it. Then I realized receiving sats, it's not something that... Uh, you cannot use within your community. You can use it because it's money. So that makes me to like develop interest in it that I'm not coming to deal with something abstract by something that the, com the whole community could engage in. Looking at my own level of uh, engagement with the community already. Then you also get uh, to send me someone who could teach me more on the Bitcoin. That's uh, Bitcoin Kauris Kumi. He oh, came yeah. to like actually take he came to take me through some few things. And out of that, I began to understand the concept well. And now, because of the support from the Bitcoin world, I am now uh drifting all my almost all my activities to the Bitcoin in order to be able to drive the circular economy well enough that people can actually grab the concept from all the activities that we used to do. Oh, that's so great. that's the basis of. So uh, and what was your motivation to, to create this project? Yeah, uh, my motivation is I have been uh, working hard 
to get enough resources to actually impact lives. And out of that, I was not able to actually get the kind of support that could make me do such a thing. And meeting, uh, coming in contact with Bitcoin and the freedom it presents and the support to the users and people that accept it, want to adopt it and use, makes me to say, okay, fine. I think this could actually make me have all my dreams to come to pass and also makes the Bitcoin big because already uh, the people need help. The people need support. And if you are only doing it from your own resources, which is not enough, mm -hmm. and now getting a, a whole uh, cloud of community where you could get support from all angles to actually uh, help the community develop, I find it to be something good. And that becomes my driving goal to actually delve deep into the Bitcoin. That's fantastic. So tell me a little bit about the, about the Bitcoin Dua. What what is the name? Do what what does that mean? Dua Dua actually means community. Oh right. So, so Bitcoin so, community. Okay. And what is your purpose? What are you trying to achieve with the your project? Well, because I already have uh, an integrity in my community. Uh I feel Turning the whole community into a Bitcoin community could actually make the Bitcoin uh, acceptable than any other thing. So that brings about the name Bitcoin Dua. And so far, so good. Just within a year or for a year, uh, the impact has been great because of the support that I've received from uh the Bitcoin Beach, Bitcoin Ecosy, and Spend Space, and some other individuals. It's 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 been great, and the community is just gearing up for this year to benefit more. And so far, so good. I think it's interesting that every in my community here in Agbozme, we have uh, every four days is a market day, and with a support from. Uh, Bitcoin Africa Fund from B, uh, from Bitcoin Beach. We have a traditional market that have been there for uh, I think almost eighty years or more, and we have a hand woven uh, cloth market that drives the whole economy of the town. Last three days, I decided to get into that space to uh, run a test on how Bitcoin could be used in the market there. Because we have uh, visitors who come from other African countries to buy stuffs, to buy the clubs, some open clubs from the community. So I have an agent that I got close to. I said, okay, look, today we are going to buy all clothes in Bitcoin from your end. And find we know that people need cash to actually also uh, buy their stuff to go and make another one. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we provide a, a stand where the people can actually exchange their uh, Bitcoin for a fiat. Of course, if you want people to use things that they are not used to. They should see the relevance of uh, that thing in the community, how they can use it without stress. So if they know that receiving Bitcoin, they can use it to either buy from someone or even exchange it for fiat that whosoever is not accepting uh, a Bitcoin can at least uh, take the fiat. Whosoever is also accepting Bitcoin, they can as well go and buy with a Bitcoin. I think it's it's it was great a test we did last, and they were so thrilled with it. And knowing well, you receiving the Bitcoin, you can as as well use it in other with other merchants, and also exchange it for whatsoever you want to uh, use fiat for. They were so much thrilled with it, and we had more people who showed more interest in selling their stuff for Bitcoin. That's great, but uh, um, I'm 
I imagine that the first you had to um, educate the people about the Bitcoin, right? So uh, yes. what, what was your approach? Uh, you doing the talk, you, you organize a meetup to, to teach the people about the Bitcoin. What was your approach? Yes, so our approach is we have been doing meetups and we have been doing a school outreach where we go into schools and talk about the Bitcoin. Then we have also been using games. We oh, yeah. last year we had a football, a Bitcoin football gala, which we intend to do a yearly stuff. And uh, we have a, a Bitcoin beauty pageant where we also use all those platforms to like actually communicate uh Bitcoin and also how the usage is and it's also giving room for uh the merchants to understand that oh okay now we have people who understands who are accepting uh, to use Bitcoin so it means even if I'm a merchant more people may come to me to use to spend their Bitcoin. And the, so the, the people are been, yeah, and, and the people are open in your community to, to learn about the Bitcoin or there was a skeptical Yes, they, they, they are more than willing to learn. And they, on daily basis, you see people saying, I want to come around to learn. Can you teach me? And I think the problem we have now is the unramping. Uh, people want to have more Bitcoin. So with that, again, I need to provide a room where anyone who wants to exchange fiat for Bitcoin, I had to let them do that because their interest is growing and we don't have much of the Bitcoin in the system for them to have. And I also believe that may also give a bit of a setback because we are talking about it, we are educating and they are accepting it and they want to have it even on their phone. I uh, like this morning before I came to talk to you now, I onboarded a, a sitting judge the last time. I visited him this morning. He said he wanted to deposit into his Bitcoin account uh, with fiat. So you can see the interest level of what is going on. When we also went to test the market the last time, there are a few people that works to us who wants to buy Bitcoin for deposit in their Bitcoin account. So the story here is great. And it is the more of the Bitcoin that we will have in our system that would make the adoption drive so fast as more people are even readily accepting it than or want to adopt it than even we thought it to uh, like it to delay great so i saw on uh, on twitter that you were building a kind of school is that the is, is it ready or you see uh, on on the construction it's ready it's ready and as i speak to you i'm even at the center now speaking to you Great. That is and it's for, it's for kids. What what uh, kind of people are you targeting? Are you targeting the kids or the adults or just everybody? Because we saw in other community that the the easy the easiest way was uh, targeting the kids and then kids because they uh, happy to learn and then they bring the parents uh, into the space. Is that so in in your community too? I think ours is even more interesting. The young people are more willing to learn than I think even the kids because they have heard much about Bitcoin. And for the fact that we were able to come and even say you could use it to buy and there are merchants that they, we have uh, demonstrated that you could go here and buy with it. You could do anything at all. It as a, a, a store. So we are closer to we are closer to Togo. We live closer to, we share a border with Togo. So it is easy to also hold Bitcoin on your, uh, on a bit knob. You get to Togo. Once you have internet, you can, you can spend it there. Really making everyone uh, really please, uh, can you, can you, can you, uh, can you please repeat that? Cause we have a, like a, a small uh, in interruption. Um... Yeah, so I was trying to say we share border with Togo and you could use BitSnob to actually even hold Bitcoin and spend in Togo once you have an internet in Togo. And you could do that with in Beni, you could do that with uh, in Nigeria. 
And uh, another critical case with Bitcoin crossing borders is Nigeria currently, you can't do any transaction through the bank outside the country. Mm. But with Bitcoin, it crosses the border without even stress. So it's making the young people around to develop more interest in the Bitcoin than we the, the approach that we thought we'll be taking by using the kids to actually get into it. It looks like our people were even ready for it before we came into the system. Sure. So, and what what the uh, what is the hardest part for you to explain about the Bitcoin to the people there? Well, uh, as it is now, I think the hardest part has to be the uh, on ramping. People ask, "How do I buy Bitcoin? How do I?" get Bitcoin into my account if I have a Bitcoin account. Then that becomes <laughs> uh, something that you have to battle with because telling someone to use something yet, if the person wants to get that to use, it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. So that is the hardest part in the Bitcoin, uh, uh, in the Bitcoin space for me. Right. Can you, can, can you see some changes yet in your community since you start? Yes, yes, yes. You know, since we started, and we have started actually uh, uh, supporting activities, social activities with this program, it has made the whole community to like shift their attention to us of the kind uh, of the support that they uh, they they think they could get, and also better their activities in what they've been doing. So you see more people approaching that oh we want to uh, we are doing games can we partner you we are doing we are doing this can you be our partner they feel with that they are giving you uh the platform for conversation with uh in bitcoin and it's making a lot of people to feel bitcoin is a way to go because uh even having uh their the money or holding something i i show them when you have bitcoin in your wallet it does not really even devalue apart from the fluctuation it holds strong against our own currency that we have and it is even proves that no matter how weak bitcoin is our currency can never be a match yeah so that is bringing a, a whole a huge value to the people and what the the kind of improvement they have seen in activity support of activities that they've done over time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so where are you now with your project and what is your goal for, for the future? Good. Uh, we are almost halfway done the project so it is only now we want to like uh, have furnitures within the within the space which we are unable to do now but all the fittings works are done and uh our goal into the future is we actually want to look into uh development on bitcoin light uh lightning network where we could actually explore ourselves how we can uh, get people easily to unramp, uh, unramp uh, Bitcoin and scale up uh, the adoption of the Bitcoin in our community because they're unramping. It's our main goal now, how mm -hmm. all can actually change their fiat into Bitcoin for us to be able to like drive our uh, Bitcoin circular economy building so perfectly. So I think maybe maybe the other community can help with that. I mean, Bitcoin Beach, uh, Bitcoin Ekasi, all those uh, projects maybe can help with this uh, on-ramp problem, right? So, um, okay, what what is your... Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, go. Yes, certainly, that would be a great... That would be of great uh, support because if that, uh, that, that myth is solved, I think we 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 won't have any stress as a community is embracing it. We are actually speeding up with education, making sure 
it reach each and everyone and people uh, can easily just make it a way of life for them to live Bitcoin. Okay, and the educational program that you're using is your own, you de develop your own, or you're using uh, the, some, some of those that we know already, like Bitcoin, uh, my first Bitcoin or the program from Bitcoin Beach? Yeah, so uh, I would say we have not developed a definite program yet, but this year that is what we intend to do. But we would be doing that in support from uh, Bitcoin Beach and Bitcoin uh, Ecosy. So we were only concentrating, uh, we were using the Bitcoin Kit book to actually oh, yeah. uh, have our classes. So, but running a full program, I think for now, we are not, uh, or I would say I'm not that much of a pro uh, Bitcoin person entirely now to say I can actually roll up a program. So I, uh, we need a support from that angle for a well-designed program for us to like, running before we look at ourselves uh, putting up something entirely. And what is your uh, social network so the people can know about you or follow you or support you? Yeah, yeah. So we have, uh, we are on uh, Twitter. That is Bitcoin underscore Dua. When you go there, our Geza fund is also there if you want to support us. And this year, this year, uh, we have uh, a tech technology fair for students to actually do in April, nine, uh, 15th to 19th April. And this program, actually, we want to use it to actually scale up our education uh, with, the, with the schools. Before, uh, oh yes, we had this uh, tech fair in 2019 and 2020, and we had a pop, uh, number of over 2,500 in attendance. Okay, It's a week-long program. So this year, because of the support we are as well getting, we believe we, we will be having more than 5,000 uh, participants to the program. Where would we would be assembling uh, the new forms of technologies that are available for young people to actually look at and see the one they can adopt for, adopt for themselves and make career out of it. And Bitcoin, it's actually championing this uh, to, to just get the whole community embrace uh, our programs and also knows that Bitcoin, Bitcoin has come to stay and it's going to do a, lo a whole lot of good to the community. Wow, that's fantastic. So the last question that I have for you, uh, what I, I ask everybody this, this question in every in interview, what Bitcoin means to you personally? Bitcoin to me has brought some kind of liberation and freedom where I now know I'm not alone in the world any longer. I don't have to struggle alone to do anything, but the Bitcoin community is there to like just be there for you and make sure the news spread and you also become a free, had your freedom and just I get the world at how it is and face it with that courage that Bitcoin gives me. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, thank you very much uh, for this interview. Uh, I hope you, uh, I wish you well for all those goals that uh, you want to achieve and uh, it was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, thank you. We'll speak another time too.